I hear you. I know about it. And amen. And just like giving somebody to stop points, tips, if I stop, then you don't know anything about it. All right? Amen. They'll be mad and you'll be disappointed. Because they be broke. All right? I'll praise you to God, our Heavenly Father, and to His Son Jesus Christ, and yet a present Holy Spirit, to the officers and to all the saints of God. We are blessed to be here. We just ask to all the people out in the Facebook land, YouTube, and whatever else, uh, to greet you in the name of the Lord. All right now. Numbers chapter 21. Numbers chapter 21. For the book of Moses. Amen. For the book in the Bible. Amen. If you have gone to the center and started. Start at the front this Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> get there fast. Numbers chapter 21. Let me start reading at verse number 4. Amen. Have it say, man. Amen. Still looking, ask the Lord to get Verse 4 says, And they journeyed from Mount Hor by the way of the Red Sea mm -hmm. to compass the land of Elam. And the soul of the people was much discouraged because of the way. And the people spake against God All right. All right. and against Moses. Wherefore have you brought us up out of Egypt to die in the wilderness. But there is no rain. Right. Neither is there any water. And our soul loathed this light grave. Mm -hmm. The Lord sent fiery serpents among the people, and they bit the people, and much people of Israel died. All right. Mm -hmm. Therefore the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned. And we have spoken against the Lord and against thee. Well, pray to the Lord that he take away the serpent from us. And Moses prayed for, for the people. And the Lord said unto Moses, Make thee a fiery serpent and set it upon a pole. And it shall come to pass that everyone that is bidden when he looketh upon it, shall live. All right. Amen. All right. Amen. And Moses made a serpent of brass, mm -hmm. put it upon a pole, mm -hmm. and it came to pass right. that if a serpent had bitten any man, when he beheld the serpent of brass, right. he lived. All right. All right. So he talked about it, and it came to pass. And it came to pass. A pastor asked the congregation in a meeting. He, he's, he asked himself, What is your favorite Bible verse? What is the one that you always think about or you use as encouragement? And the folks said, 23rd Psalm, verse 1, the Lord is my shepherd. And that's a good one. Mm -hmm. Amen. The Lord is All right. my shepherd. Amen. Somebody says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. Amen. He said an elderly gentleman, he said, my favorite verse is, and it came to pass. Mm -hmm. And it came to pass. Mm -hmm. We'll say that one more time. Oh, 
and it came to pass. Yeah. Uh, I have so much in that that when you think about just the thought itself that God said and it came to pass. All right now. 463 times in the King James Version. Those words are recorded. And it came all right. In this life that we live in, and Sister Gwen, I got three points. I probably won't get to them all because I'm still having difficulty getting past this. And it came. All right. All right. All right. Uh -huh. So much, so much happens to us uh -huh. that nobody can deny that we live in difficult times. Wow. Hard time. Yeah. Trying time. Yeah. But the word says, and it came to pass. Mm -hmm. We're ending a 20 year war in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. A war that we never should have started in the first place. I got involved in it. We learned nothing from it. Vietnam, and we learned nothing from the, the Russian fighting those people, and we jumped right in, and Amen. 20 years later, All right. Amen. trying to bring truth home. Oh, yeah. All right. And he came. <laughs> so much with racial unrest in this country. A land that is the home of the free and the brave. But just the other day, we went back to the Wild West day. <laughs> and it came All right. to pass. Yeah. Throughout the world, human rights are being denied every day. Mm -hmm. Young women in some countries can't go to school. They have no rights. That's right. Uh, 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 people are still getting slaughtered, genocide is still taking place, and you wonder when will it ever end, but guess what? It came. Uh, here you go. All right. Uh, 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 rise of sexual promiscuity, gay rights. So much that was wrong years ago, we make it right now. All right. Mm -hmm. But it came. Mm -hmm. Now we are fighting a virus. Mm -hmm. The whole world yeah. mm -hmm. is fighting this virus. We forget about, and, and, and I had forgotten about, on the news this morning, Iran is having to redouble their interest because the virus has, has kicked up again. Mm -hmm. Not just in this country, but in Iran also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But guess what? We trust the Lord. We can say yeah. it came to pass. All right. All right. All right. Foolishness among folks that know that it is necessary yeah. for all of us to be involved in this fight. Mm -hmm. They decide they want to do their own thing. Mm -hmm. But I gotta tell you, be encouraged because it will come to pass. All right, now. I like that. There's so much in it that it can help us no matter what the problems are that we're facing. Amen. No matter what the situation <laughs> that we might be involved in. Uh -huh. God used it over and over and over again yeah. to remind us yeah. that there's nothing in front of us that cannot be put behind. Wow. 
Why? Because you came to that. Mm -hmm. Text today, the text today, uh, 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 tells us three things that I, I missed from it. And, and, and let me hasten because I know somebody want to go home and cook some barbecue. And, and, and they got plans and you got to have holy communion. So let me try to hasten and get through with this. Uh, uh, first thing I want you to understand is that God punishes sin. Yes, he does. Come on. He punishes sin. I can't imagine <coughs> what these folks were going through. And then I thought about me. And how soon do we forget when God restores us? Look at this. Look at this. These folks that God has delivered out of Egypt. Miraculously, He delivered them with a strong arm. And now they're in the wilderness. They have seen the mighty hand of God. God has dealt with them for their wrongdoing. Even Miriam, Moses' sister, she's dead now because she had risen up against Moses and told the folks that he's not the only one that God right. helps to. And God called them to the door of the tabernacle. Explained to her that Moses is his man. Right. And, and when he got through talking to her, he afflicted her with leprosy. And Moses prayed for her. And, and, and rather than her spending the rest of her life a leper, he said, well, I got to give her well, well. some time. Oh, yeah. So seven days, leprosy was upon her. But now she's dead. Because she sinned. Aaron, Moses' brother, is dead. Mm -hmm. Because he sinned against God. Mm -hmm. He along with Miriam and then a multitude of things he did. <coughs> God told Moses take Aaron and his son Elazar uh, to the mountain. Strip him of his priesthood gone. Put it on the floor. And leave him there because he gonna die. Mm -hmm. These folks who had come over with mother and father and uncle and grandmama and granddaddy had seen them die in the wilderness. All right, all right. For turning around at Kadash Bernardo and not believing the promise of God. The sin that they had done. All right. But yet and still, here they are. Complaining against God. It's in the text. It's in the text. And the people spake against God and against Moses. Well. Who are you to complain against God? After all that he has done for you. Well, well. And they sin. God has to punish them. Mm -hmm. If earthly parents all right, speak up. out of the love that they have for us, well, would punish us, how much more a righteous 
Heavenly Father. Well, when we do wrong, yeah. it's in the text. God mm -hmm. punishes mm -hmm. their sin. Mm -hmm. They complain. They complain. You know what I mean? Brought us out here mm -hmm. like they had it good in Egypt. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Working sun up to sundown, <laughs> making bricks. Mm -hmm. And now all they have to do is go along with the program. All right. And they complain. Well, well, brought us out here to kill us. We could have left us in Egypt. Mm -hmm. At least they had graves there that we could have got buried. But you bring us out here in this barren land just to slay us. And, and the text don't say it, but I believe it angered God. All right, God, all right. It would anger us. They, they had a habit of, of, of getting under God's skin if that could happen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so he punishes them. Yeah. Send servants yeah. to bite them. Mm -hmm. And the bite would kill mm -hmm. them. I want to remind you that God punish us for our sin. Yeah. There's a price to pay for sin. No matter how much you might plead for forgiveness afterwards, <laughs> you already done. Well, I, 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 I had a friend when we were young fellas in California growing up and, and, and he he said to the other guy they were talking about doing stuff they ought not do and he said it doesn't matter how quick you get out of the water you still will All right. <laughs> you catch it out of the water <laughs> it doesn't matter how much forgiveness you seek afterward, well, well. you still can. And God must, because he is the righteous God, punish sin. Well, so the Bible says he sent serpents, fiery serpents, not because they were flame and fire, but because when they bit you, it burned. And some died. Well, amen. Uh, uh, uh. Even though he punishes us, All right. he's merciful. Yeah. It's in the text. It's right here. It said, the people came to Moses and 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 begged him to 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 pray that God would forgive them and take the fiery serpent away. And Moses, right there in verse 7, it says, and Moses prayed for the people. Mm -hmm. And the Lord said to Moses, verse 8, I got to remember. Mm -hmm. Told Moses to make a circle of brass mm -hmm. and hold it up to them. All right. God is merciful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To us. Even when we do wrong. Yeah. Scripture says the wages of sin is death. Mm -hmm. And all of us should be dead now. <laughs> Somebody says, why does bad things happen to good people? It doesn't happen because none of us are good. Yeah. Right. We've all missed the mark. We've all sinned and fallen short of God's glory. But thanks be unto God's yeah, merciful yeah. mix. For he's piteous yeah. in mercy. So he forgives us over and over and over again. Yeah. I, 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 I just gotta ask you, is, is there anybody here today that God has not been merciful to? <laughs> Is there anybody here that's not the grand recipient of the mercies of God? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
If you say you are, I'll call you a liar. Because if it was not for the mercies of God, yeah. Bible says we would have been consumed. Yeah. We'd be dead and gone. And, and, and our existence wouldn't even count for now. Right now. He's a merciful God. Yeah. Keeps on giving us over and over. Uh -oh. Peter said for us to do Master, how many times should I forgive my brother? Seven times, seven. Jesus said, no. Take up with him. And it wasn't he was saying that there's a number, but, but the number was it was implying that you should do it over and over and over again. Yeah. As many times as he comes. God has done that for us. All right. Yes, sir. So many times has he shown mercy upon us. Because we have been wrong so many times. So God is a merciful God. Told him to Moses to make a fire, sir. Put on a pole and it shall come to pass. All right. This is what's going to happen. That everyone that is bit, when he looketh upon them, they shall live. Yeah. Yeah. I'm about to go somewhere now. All right. Come on, man. Come on. Verse 9 says, yeah. Moses did as the Lord said. And that is my phrase there. And it came to pass. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you just trust the Lord, yeah. you can say it came to pass. Yeah. Everybody that looked at the serpent, yeah. when they had been being bastard, yeah. they lived. Yeah. It came to pass. Yeah. That when you they learned to trust the Lord, yeah. and to do simply what he said. Yeah. It came to pass yes. that they would live mm -hmm. even though a death sentence mm -hmm. was placed upon I come to tell you that if you just trust the Lord, well, yeah. well, you can look back and say it came to pass. Yes. I was lost in a sinful world. Yeah. I didn't have nobody on my side. Yeah. But it came to pass. Yeah, yeah, one day I learned about you. Yeah. And I put my trust in him. Yeah. For the Bible says that if we would just trust in him, yes, sir. if we would just look up to him, right. we shall leave. Right. John said it this way when he Recorded what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. He said, like Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Mm -hmm. And those that looked at the serpent lived. Well, well, well. He said, if I mm -hmm. be lifted up, yeah. and I'll draw all yeah. the men under me. Yeah. All we have to do is just look up. Yeah and believe in him. Yeah. We can say, and it came to pass. Yeah. All of my trouble, my trials, yeah. my problems, it came to pass. Yeah. When folks did me wrong, yeah. and they sought to take my life, yeah. and it came to pass. Yeah. When I didn't have Nobody on my side. And it seemed like the world would swallow me up. It came to pass that when I put my trust in the Lord, when I looked up unto him and told him that I'm willing to go where you want me to go, do what you want me to do. I can say it came to pass yes, that my enemies left me alone. It came to pass that I discovered that there was somebody on my side. It came to pass that the job I wasn't supposed to get, I now have it. 
And it came to pass uh, that the house that we weren't supposed to be living in, we live in it now. And it came to pass uh, that our children, uh, that folks said, wouldn't amount to anything. Uh, and it came to pass uh, that now they're a productive citizen in this country. Uh, and it came to pass uh, that all of the haters uh, that tried to work against me, uh, they are now behind me. Uh, and it came to pass. Uh, take a look uh, in the rear view mirror uh, and see all of the stuff uh, that's behind you uh, because God said uh, and it came to pass. Uh, it's all behind you now. Uh, all you need to do is look unto him. Uh, he that is able uh, to keep on delivering you over and over again. Uh, I won't tell you uh, that you're going to sin again, uh, but we have the propensity uh, to sin. So so if you sin, uh, I want you to know uh, that you have an advocate uh, that keeps on saying, uh, and it came to pass. Uh, you stumble and fail, uh, but I pick you up, uh, and it came to pass. Uh, your enemy knocked you down, uh, but I was there to catch you, uh, and it came to pass. Uh, you in the wrong place uh, at the wrong time, uh, and things befell you, uh, and you were in a tight spot, uh, but I bailed you out, uh, and it came to pass. Uh, ain't God good? Uh, yeah, he keeps on uh, showing up uh, when we mess up. Uh, thank God uh, that it came to pass. Uh, and now I can continue uh, to look up to Jesus because uh, he is the one uh, that's going to lead me uh, out of this wilderness. Uh, for this is uh, a wilderness experience. Uh, this is not my home. Uh, all those 40 years uh, that the children of Israel were in the wilderness, uh, they knew it wasn't their home. Uh, they were on their way uh, to Canaan land. Uh, we're in uh, a wilderness experience. Uh, this is not our home. Uh, I'm bound uh, for the promised land. Uh, I'm bound uh, to get the glory. All I need to do is keep looking up uh, and he will uh, Guide me, do guide me, oh, uh, thou great Jehovah. I'm a pilgrim uh, in this fair land. I am weak, uh, but thou art mighty. Hold me up uh, with thy power, and I'm on my way up uh, to glory land. Yeah. I'm going to get that. I'm going to get that because I'm going to keep looking up. And I know as long as I keep looking up, he's going to guide me. All the way. Amen. And it came to pass. Yeah. They were in a bad situation. Yeah. Folks were dying. Uh -huh. But God bailed them out. Yeah. Yeah. And it came to pass. Uh -huh. That those that looked up All right. and trusted God, yeah. even though they had spake against him, uh -huh. he allowed them to live. Thank God for his mercy yeah. for allowing Thank you. us to leave. Yeah. We're not any better than the yeah. children yeah. of Israel. Yeah. We're not better. Yeah. We mess up just like they yeah. did. Yeah. But it's good to know yeah. that when we look up to the Lord, and trust in him. We can say, and it came. Those churches open. Quite a song of sun. Maybe there's one here today or in Facebook land that have been battling against fire and surf. Troubles and trials in this life. Yeah. Have them all tangled up. They don't know what to do. 
per se I recommend you. Look up to him. And you can lead. And not just lead, but have life more abundant. Jesus said, I've come that you might have life. Yeah. And that you might have it more abundant. Who would not want to have an abundant life? A blessed life. Amen. Have something that when trouble and trials come, and you can still have joy. That's the abundant life. When the enemy knock you down, they're standing over wondering why you are still smiling. Because of the abundant life. Because everything I need, I have. Because I have Jesus. And when you got Jesus, when you have Jesus, when you have Jesus, I'm trying to encourage you. I'm not saying if, I say we. When you have Jesus, you don't need nothing else. For he is all that you need. Same thing. Your grace and mercy.